Hey YouTube, it's Eric here. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Uh, sorry I haven't done a video for a while, but I haven't really thought of anything to do a video on. Um, today, my son is with me. Hello. I'm otherwise known as Wither Creeper. If you want to, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, hop over to Wither Creeper and check out his videos. Um. <clears throat> So, uh, I don't know if you, if you look back on some of my videos, you'll see, uh, how I had all my lights and everything all, all situated in here. And it was kind of a pain. I had a whole bunch of wiring run down from switches up top. Um, but today I finally got in the mail. I got my, uh, my Phoenix 4200 mini and I just finished wiring it all up and I wanted to kind of show it to you. It's a really cool controller, and it should make should make things a lot easier and a lot cleaner looking. So I'm going to spin you around and uh, show you what I got. Sorry if I'm a little close at the moment. Uh, just a All right, so there she is. That's the 4200 Mini. Another focus. There you go. So there, it's activated, but nothing's on right now. As you see, I have one blank spot. That's uh, going to be for my uh, off-road light that's going on the front, front of my truck, but I haven't put it on yet. Um, so now it just makes everything easy. Let's see, these are going to be my, as you see, these are my rear floods. I turn them on, and my back rear floodlights on my back rack come on. Uh, these are my takedowns, which I don't know if you can see that, but they're on. I shut them off. This one's going to be... This one, like I said, is going to be for, uh, for my off-road light when I put it on. Uh, this one right here is the main for my, my full-size light bar. Um, as you can see, it's on. Once again, one button to shut it off. Let it focus again. The one above it right here is for my uh, traffic stick in the back window and turns the uh, main on for that and this one here is for my grill lights which you can see them flashing off the car in front of me which is really cool and a nice feature I like about this so say I have my all my warning lights as you see they're brighter all my warning lights on one side running and I can instead of sitting there and clicking all the buttons to shut them off I just go there and of course it's still on and ready to operate and ready to go and then uh, when I'm done and I park my truck for the night I just go like this and the controllers deactivated so it doesn't matter what I if I hit any of the switches for the, or if I hit the switch for that, it doesn't turn on. Um, I still do have this one. Don't know how well you can see it's hidden behind the mirror. I still have this one on the dash. There it is. Um, oops, sorry guys. I still have that one in the dash, and that's the only one that's uh, right here, just because I don't want to cut the, cut the uh, plug off of it. So, but I, I don't use that one too often. And that's the only cable you see coming down. Um, there's not really not much I can do about that. But yeah, that's my Phoenix 4200 Mini. Um, for anybody doing an install for for their stuff, um, I recommend this thing. This thing's so cool. Um, they're they're uh, you can actually uh, let me t flip you around here. <clears throat> you can actually use them use them out like on your quad or on your side-by-side -side, um, or stuff like that or um, maybe a, even on a tractor if you want without one without a cab because these are waterproof and um, it's a complete sealed unit it's waterproof so it, it'll hold up to the weather it's all aluminum uh, it's really really awesome controller very simple to wire um, and as you see, it works really well. And it has some functions that I don't have set up because I don't need them. 
Um, this controller uh, does have a built-in um, a built-in wigwag function uh, for like you know headlights or whatever. Uh, and you can set any of the, any of the buttons except for the power button. You can set any of them as a, uh, a momentary switch. So like, um, say like my big light bar on top. If I wanted to have it so I can change change the pattern on it, which I don't have that hooked up inside the bar itself anyway, um, I could set one of these buttons up as a momentary, and when I push it, it'll switch the pattern. So it does have a built-in uh, momentary, and you can have multiple momentaries if you like. So, anyway, this is just going to be a short video. Um, now that the weather's getting warmer and nicer out, hopefully I'll be able to get out and get you some more videos done. Um, my son, I'm sure he'll eventually get some more videos videos done. Also, guys, um, there used to be switches up here, but now we have this. Yeah, my switches are gone that were up here. They're all gone. Just an elastic band so I can, you know attach pens or something if I want uh, kind of hides the, the stuff that the other controller was was gonna take me a while to peel all that off but it is what it is um, Could be useful. but the nice thing is, is my interior lights are green and this controller is green <laughs> so it matches which is really cool but like I said it's gonna make things a heck of a lot better I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, oh, sorry about that if it was loud. I didn't mean to. I hit the windshield. But, uh, I do have some more lights that I'm going to be putting on. Um, because with with my grill lights, when I hit my grill lights, it's just grill lights and I have uh, some side lights on, on the uh, back rack. Um, I do want to put something more for the back. Um, just so when I hit the grill lights, the grill lights and just a set on the back and those side ones come on um, just so like if you know after I shut my big light bar off um, I still have some kind of coverage in the front and back um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um, like I said that's just uh, just wanted to show you that uh, the uh, Phoenix 4200 mini uh, like I said this thing is an awesome little controller and uh, it's not very big at all like I said here, I'm going to spin you around and just kind of give you an idea. Um, well, there's my hand. I think it's uh, as big as the camera. That's that's my hand. That shows you it's not a very big controller at all. Um, it does come with two different style of... Uh, it comes with two different style uh, mounting stuff. Um, you can flat mount it, or you can, uh, it has a kind of a swivel type mount. And uh, I put it on the swivel type mount. And the nice thing is, is where I have it, I can still access my coffee. My, uh, my cup holders for my coffee. So, anyway, I've yammered on enough. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks to uh, uh, my new subscri subscribers. Um... A few of the people you should go check out that I watch is uh, uh, MFA, which is Magnet Fishing Addiction. Go check out his channel. Uh, he does magnet fishing. And uh, Raven Girl, uh, again, magnet fishing, and it happens to be uh, MFA's granddaughter. Um, go check out Heavy Metal Magnet. His channel is awesome, too. He does magnet fishing and heavy metal. <laughs> and... Uh, if I've missed any of, any of my new subscribers, I apologize, um, but I just don't have them off the top of my head at the moment. And I thank you all for watching my videos. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. And uh, we'll see you in the next time. And from Wither Creeper over here. Oh man, all these connections from this to all of these, it's great. Well, say bye. Bye guys. Please comment rate subscribe and also check out my channel and also hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos well i can't say it any better <laughs> anyway thanks for watching everybody 
I hope everybody's well. And I look forward to hearing some comments for, from you and checking out your channels as well. Till the next video. Take care, everybody. Ciao for now.